Hi dear students, welcome back to the class. I hope all are you fine. Yes, okay. So the last video we are discussed about yes, echoes and sonar. Yeah. So today we are going to discuss in another topic. See, did you hear the different variety of sound produced in different bodies? Yes, your sound and your mother sounds uh, same. No. And a crow and the cuckoo, the same sound? No. And flute and a drum, it's producing the same sound? No. So, in our life, we are here different kinds of sound. Okay? Just think about your friend and your sound. It's same? No. It's a different. This different sound. So, we hear a wide variety of a sound producing in a different vibrating bodies. Okay? Different object producing different sound because either they have different loudness or pitch. Okay? So, what is this loudness? So, the sound that is depends upon what the loudness and pitch okay so first one is loudness or intensity of sound what loudness or intensity of sound okay so what is this loudness which distinguishes a favorable sound from a loud sound of the same frequency this is what loudness okay the loudness of the sound that depends upon the amplitude of the vibrating body. The loudness of the sound that is depends upon the amplitude of the vibrating body. Is it clear? That is more amplitude, more loudness, more sound. So less amplitude, very less sound. There is less loudness. Okay. So the loudness Loudness is the characteristic of distinguishes favorable sound from a loud sound of the same frequency. Okay. So, the loudness or intensity of sound that depends upon the amplitude of the vibrating body. So, uh, high amplitude means more large sound otherwise more loudness. Okay. And uh, less amplitude means more very less loudness or very less sound clear and what are the properties of loudness yes the property of loudness the uh, loudness that depends on the area of the vibrating body area of the vibrating body okay let's take two drum one is big one and small one okay and the small area when you are hit on the drum, it will produce, by big drum, it will produce what? High sound. That means loudness. Because of the amplitude is small. Okay. And the small drum, when you hit on the small drum, it will produce very less sound. Because the amplitude of the um, vibrating body that is very producing very less sound. Very less amplitude, very less sound. So this amplitude of the sound wave is directly related to the energy. It carries. We can say that what more energy is carried sound wave. Loudness that depends upon the area of the vibrating body. And the second property, the loudness that depends upon the length of the other is the source of sound. Loudness decreases with the increase in distance from the source of sound. Okay. So, the loudness depends upon the area of the surface means, yes, the large area producing what more vibrations. Air vibrations are more vibrations. Okay. So, it producing large sound. And the small area producing very less sound. An example. Yes, in case of pool and the bucket of water. Okay, when you throw the stone to the pool, or uh, into the pool, it will produce more sound. Yes, it produces more vibrations. You can show that vibrations, the ring comes into the 
uh, food. In same case, it is true that same uh, stored into the bucket of water, it produces more sound. No, very less sound because of what the uh, area of the vibrating body that is very small in case of bucket of water and in case of food, the area of the uh, body that is more. Okay, and the second one, what? Yes, the it's decreases with the increase of distance of a source of sound. Yeah. Sometimes you heard that if anywhere in the marriage you can hear the uh, sound clearly, they are using what the speakers. Because of the large more distance. But we can hear that what the sound very uh, slowly, very less sound we can hear. But in case of you are just standing in front of that speaker, you can hear the sound very slowly. No, it's a too much sound. It's the loudness. You can hear the more sound. Okay. Sometimes you are when you are sitting in the class, those who are sitting in the last bench, you told God, ma'am, I can't able to hear your voice. Why? Because of the distance from the source of sound. Those who are sitting in the front, they can hear. So, these are the examples of what the soul distance, distance from the source of sound. Okay. And the next is pitch. This you heard this pitch. High pitch, low pitch. What is this pitch? You know that the boys and the uh, women, their voice are same. No, you know the woman's uh, sound or this voice, woman's voice. That is, woman's voice is more shrill than uh, man's voice. Fruit sound is more shrill than drum sound. So, a shrill sound is called what high pitch and the soft sound, soft or less shrill that is called what low pitch. So, what is this pitch? Shrill is the effect produced in the ear that is due to the sub sound of particular frequency. What is pitch? The effect produced in the ear due to which some particular frequencies that is called as what pitch. That is called as what pitch. Okay. So what is this high pitch and low pitch? High pitch means the pitch that depends upon the frequency of vibrations body. The pitch that depends upon the frequency of vibrating body in case of loudness that depends upon the what amplitude of vibrating body okay amplitude of vibrating body in case of loudness in case of pitch what yes that depends upon the frequency of vibrating body okay yes and the next one the more frequency that is what high pitch okay less frequency that is what low pitch so what is this high frequency high pitch or shrill it producing the vibrating body it's a high frequency okay and low pitch means what it's producing the frequency very less frequency it's producing the sound it's a very less frequency that is what low pitch okay so in your textbook there is given uh, four activities you have to read that okay so once again you know that in our uh, surroundings we can hear different varieties of sound okay that depends on loudness or pitch okay so what is loudness loudness is the characteristics of sound which distinguishes the favorable sound from loud sound of the same frequency and this depends on the amplitude of the vibrating body. What are the properties? Yes, the loudness that depends upon the area of the um, vibrating body. Okay, large area, 
high loudness, large loud, loudness, or is more loudness, and a small area very less loudness. Okay, and the second one, yes, that decreases with the increase in the distance of distance of from the source of word sound. Okay, very large far. Uh, the source of the uh, source of sound very far we can hear very less sound and the source of sound is very near so we can hear more sound okay so these are the two property and next is pitch and you know that the pitch that is for the effect that produced here due to the sound of some particular frequencies okay this is uh, depends upon the frequencies the pitch is depends upon the frequency of the vibrating body uh, high frequency that is high pitch or shrill okay and the low frequency that is what bass or flat okay i hope all of you understood this topic yes thank you